um, this is of course uh, Unreal Engine. So uh, this is something that I put together probably, or I put together, this was like, I don't know, like 10 guys. Uh, mm -hmm. th there's a Blender community. That's a, another kind of a cool thing about Blender is it's got this really neat community that everybody kind of shares. And I think that's part of the whole open source thing. Uh, they share not just um, assets and things like that, but information. Like people are just openly saying, "This is how I did this," and it's kind of kind of fun that way. So this um, was created, even though this is unreal. Uh, all this stuff was created in Blender uh, by a group of us um, over on the like Blender Discord. They do like a once every month or something. They'll or every few months they'll uh, just pick a piece of concept art and and just build it all. Uh, so let me let's go to the lit version of this. Um, so mm -hmm. basically, I just export it. It's really easy to do. Just exporting FBXs and and um, mm -hmm. creating like a creating the scene and and lighting it. Um, and what's fun is so this is the scene uh, in in Blender. Well, not the exact scene. It's the assets. Uh, and I put together another kind of my own version of the scene. This is uh, the new Blender two point eight, uh, which we're all getting used to still mm -hmm. uh this is like the preview unlit but this is kind of where the where it gets powerful um this here is like a lot of people would look at this and be like oh that's a pretty render um just like unreal but this is actually the viewport um the the blender viewport which is mm -hmm. they call it ev this is the new uh viewport render uh which gives you a lot of everything from volumetric lighting to you know blooms and I mean, it's and it's what's cool is when you look at the assets um, versus what they are in Unreal, they're almost exactly the same, uh, including mm -hmm. the materials. The materials are made with these uh, BSDF principal shaders that really are the same thing. If you look at the the shaders in uh, Unreal, they're really the same. Uh, it's it's put together in wow. the same process. And matter of fact, I've I've heard that they were talking a lot back and forth. In fact. Um, I, yeah, that give us the other thing info. strange about. <laughs> so Epic, oh, well, there's like, Epic gave a million Epic, dollars like, to Blender, so obviously they're right. But way assume. before that, held okay. two, two years before that, they they had this guy employed there that was writing this engine. Um, so they, they were uh -huh. they they're a little might be a little more in bed than we th we think. Just not in bed, but you know what I mean. They're yeah yeah, yeah. they're working goes, together. Like yeah I think, definitely. Tim Sweeney I mean, really likes open source right. stuff, and I know that um, uh, there's been a lot of talk about like how Blender can can better serve Unreal and um, and vice versa. Well, it only so, helps. So right? yeah, the because, guy, one of the yeah. writer, one of the software guys that did this engine was employed full time at Epic Games. So oh wow, uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of interesting uh, mm -hmm. stuff. So. Um, and he's gone on to make, he still lives there in Cary and he's gone on to do something else, but it's still, it still is something to do with blender. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if I can. Yeah. I would imagine it, it serves Epic in their best interest to work alongside another type of free software so that it really removes all barriers for anybody who wants to make a game within unreal engine and blender. Yeah, really. I mean, like that's the other thing is it being free indies are of course all over this uh mm -hmm. and i always said you know the today's indies are tomorrow's big game companies because that's just how it works somebody's going to yeah. hit something uh and it's you know and if they're a blender house then there you go you got a bigger uh bigger blender shop and i think the first um the first feature animated movie uh in blender came out this year mm -hmm. which was called um uh, uh like next gen or something next gen yeah next gen so if you look that up that's it, i mean it's not it the greatest awesome yeah it looks amazing it it's not the greatest yeah. movie because i don't know who wrote it or what yeah. what the production is but right. but look wise it's incredible it's there yeah uh, considering well, I mean, again it's done with free <laughs> software well i'm just very impressed how like, can you do that switch back and forth again with unreal like how close yeah. It freaking looks, dude. Yeah, That's and this isn't even me. Amazing. Like, uh, you know, the, this is a completely different lighting setup. Matter of fact, you notice these are blue instead of the warm right. color. So I'm mm -hmm. bouncing around uh, different, you know, different colors, really. But we have the same setup here. Like we, mm -hmm. uh, somewhere here in our settings, 
uh, I think it's here. It might be in the, so there's a, uh, yeah, there's like light, uh, light caching or light baking is what it is. So we, we can do the same thing where we can set up our lights and then uh, I think that's here to see them. Yeah. So we can set up our lights just like we do in uh, Unreal and then we can bake them down. Mm -hmm. uh, and then certain things are, are we don't have quite as much control uh, right. in here. I still, that's why I put all this stuff into, um, into Unreal Engine because there's, uh, there's a few things that are kind of quirky. Like, um, w although we do have volumetrics, uh, I think I can turn this on here. So we do have volumetric lighting. Um, however, it's, it's not per light. It's like the scene so it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a volumetric volume that goes over everything. And even though you, we can see it and it ca casts shadows and it's really nice, I can't, because I can't control it per light, like this light over here, that shouldn't have volume on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can't turn that off. Whereas Unreal, of course, I can mm -hmm. per, on a per light basis, you know, I can grab something and make sure that it's, uh, its volumetric scatter is one or zero. Mm -hmm.